Hello, welcome back to my video and today we are going to be drawing Len Kagamin in oil pastel. Here is my reference photo for the drawing. So for this art piece, I just wanted to have an excuse to draw Len Kagamin as it was requested by one of my TikTok followers on TikTok. And I wanted to draw in oil pastel after a long time because I haven't used it in a while during this recording. And I just wanted to like get something out get something out there and draw something for once because I was on art block for a while. So here I am doing the sketch of the drawing. First I am mapping out the body proportions with little uh, shapes like circles and oblongs and all that. I'm just basically deconstructing the body in simple shapes so that it's easier to uh, outline later. I am paying attention very closely to the reference photo in order to get the proportions right. So if you see me looking back and forth from the paper to the picture, I apologize for that. But um, yeah. For this part, I am adding more details like actually creating the eye crease and the eye shape as well as the mouth and the lips and redefining the hands so that I can color it in peacefully and you know perfectly later. And here I am filming a TikTok for, uh, you know, a process video on my TikTok. I always do this with most of my drawings that I think are going to, you know, do well. So if you see me holding my phone a lot, then that's why I'm filming TikToks. <laughs> and now we are on to the rendering. So here I render the skin, the hair, the clothes, and all that. Um, for the skin, I basically use reds and uh, neutral tones, like medium tones, like, you know, a tan skin color. And then I add highlights to that to, you know, have depth and all that jazz. Yeah, and I blend using my fingers, which is probably the best tool for oil pastel to make it very smooth. And um, yeah. It takes a while to layer some oil pastels to get it to its true opacity, but it, it will be so worth it in a while. It'll be so worth it. Like this drawing actually took me not that long. And in the end, it looked really cute to me. It looked really nice. I was actually not sure about the eye color of Len here, but you know, I decided on the color blue because I saw some fan art with the color blue as his eye color. And then here I am coloring in the clothes. I basically follow the reference photo for the majority of this drawing. And there's just a few changes. So for the black part of the clothing, like you know those um, shoulder, those armbands that he have, he has, I mean. I use dark blue instead of black because black is a little too harsh for this drawing, so yeah. I'm using blue and then I use light blue to highlight all the creases in the drawing.
I like to mix and match my colors based on the vibrancy that I want, like how how colorful I want it to be. So I add some purples here and there, some pinks, you know, just to add some variety in the drawing. And for the white part of the clothing, I use lighter blues instead of pure white so that it doesn't look out of place. I mix it in with white and then it makes it look a little more natural and part of the drawing. And now we're on to hair. So for the hair, I like to do little strands at a time and then add little um, uh, strand or like pieces of hair uh, going outward afterwards. And I do the other details like the hair, the hair piece, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the final product of the Len Kagami drawing. I think I really did a great job. I love how colorful it is and I love the hand positions and all that. It looks really good. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this is different from my my usual videos and the reason for that is I didn't want to <laughs> put on put subtitles like manually so i did this voiceover instead to make it easier but uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and uh subscribe if you want to like this video if you want to i'm not forcing you um and yeah thank you so much for watching here are some uh slow shots or close-up shots of the drawing and yeah Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll be able to do this kind of voiceover more. But yeah, thanks for watching.